that'll do, that'll do. Right, so Dresden plate. So rainbow Dresden plate. So Karen did a fab one. Um, really very, very beautiful indeed. Um, Good, you can see me. Uh, yes, so that um, I'm taking inspiration from Karen's because it was so beautiful. Now, what Karen did, which I thought was particularly gorgeous, is she did a large Dresden plate, and then she used a smaller Dresden plate, and then did a row over the top. Can't really see over the top of that, and then she did another one over the top. I can't remember how many rows, maybe three or four, but the Dresden got smaller each time, and it oh, gorgeous. Um, too close. Uh, it'll have to do, it'll have to do. So um, that's what we're going to do, Dresden plate. Now my, uh, my, there it is, uh, pattern piece, what I've done is I've used, I've just downloaded this off on off the internet. I went onto Google and I typed in Dresden plate printable and then I found this one. Now this one's three inches across the top, six inches in length and one inch at the bottom. So you could draw your own if you want to. Um, but again, you could go bigger, you could go smaller. Um, that's up to you. But I'm just going to go for this size because I'm just going to do the one layer. If I had loads of time, I would do what Karen did and do the multiple layers because it does look amazing. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to just do the one layer. Um, so I'm using my glitter fabrics. I'm going to bring the camera down a bit so you can see more on the mat. So let's just bring that down a fraction. Okay. Here we go. That's better, isn't it? Not really. Um, so I'm using my glitter fabrics. Now, I don't know if you can see how gorgeous they are. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that glitter. I mean, that's something else, isn't it? So I'm using my glitter fabrics because I love them and I haven't had a chance to make anything out of them yet. Um, so that's what I'm using. So you obviously need, for the one I'm doing, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. But of course, you might want to do red, orange, yellow, indigo, violet, whatever it is you want. Um, if you want these glitter fabrics, I've got them on my website as fat quarter bundles or half meter bundles. I'm not saying that you are pressured in any way to get those, but if you want the ones that I'm using in the order that I'm using it, I've got those bundles on my website, avidcrafts.com. So what I've done is I've cut out two of each colour. So I'm obviously using six colours, so I've got 12 in total, two of each colour. So the first one I've already done, the first section I've already done, just to save a bit of time. And then I'm going to move on now to do this one. Um, can you put the photo? Oh yeah, Karen, do do show us. Do If I can get it off, if you don't mind, I'll get it off Mum's group and post it, but you're more than welcome to also post it. Um, yes, you'll need to see it because it's quite beautiful. Right, so I've just moved my scraps of fabric out of the way. See, everything was lined up for me to do this landscape, so now I'm having to bring everything in a little bit. So I'm sorry about that. I was super organised as well this morning. I was watching Mum's live and then I said, I've got to go. Um, I'm live, so. Right, that's, if you wanted to see the finished pincushion from the other day and you haven't seen it yet, that's the finished pincushion. Just whacked all my pins in there. Uh, but that's the finished project. So useful. And because it's quite a big size, I'm not going to lose that, am I? So I'm, I'm really happy with that. So as I said, I've cut uh, two of each colour. I've cut directly on the line of this one. I haven't given any extra seam allowance. Oh, you know what I'm like with threads. I haven't, I haven't trimmed the threads. I've just put it on top of the threads. Uh, yes, I haven't given any extra seam allowance to that. That's just as is, okay? So what you need to do, and I'm sure you know, but if you don't, I'll run through it. I'll use a colour you can see better. This one, that's quite a good colour for you to see, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I can't see what that says. 
Uh, Abby, is the pin cushion pattern available? If you go back to my last live, Diana, I sort of made it up as I went. So it's worth having a look because uh, it's really, really very easy. Um, right, so this is the glitter side of this one. Okay, so it's right sides together and you're folding it in half. Now, if you want to, you could press this in half because that centre line comes in quite handy. So I am going to do that just ever so slightly. Um, in fact, this fabric, you could just finger press it. I can see that line there, it's fine. So I'll just fold that back together. And all, sorry, lick my fingers. You do it, don't you? Uh, all I'm gonna do is stitch the top of this. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, I'm just gonna stitch the top of this. Now I've got um, just green thread on, I'm using for all of it, and you can't see the thread through, so it really doesn't matter. I wouldn't worry about changing colors as you go. Really not worth it. Um, so right sides together, and you're gonna stitch the top, which is the biggest top. Biggest top, the only top but the, it's the largest size, okay? And you're gonna stitch that. So that, I'm gonna do quarter an inch. I'm gonna also apologize about the sound of this machine. It, it does need a bit of an oil, but um, you know, with workhorses, I don't mind. But I do do a little back stitch, just on that first bit, uh, because I, like to make sure it's completely secure okay so we're going to do that with each of them so for the remaining six so remember it's right sides together so that's my right side i mean please <laughs> gorgeous and quarter of an inch you could just run these off as long as you've got right sides together. And that, that one's not very uh, well lined up. There we are. But yeah, just on, on the internet, if you just search Dresden plate printable, obviously if you've got um, the templates, then fantastic. But if you haven't, then you can just do that. And I actually, oh, I've just broken my thread. I actually um, found this one and then I printed it 200%, no, 150% of what it was. So I can't, I don't, I don't actually know if that is, oh yeah, it is. So when I increased it by 150 to 150% on the printer, it printed out exactly as the measurements are, which actually was just luck. I wasn't really bothered about the size of it. I just wanted a, a, you know, a relatively good size template. Look at that blue. Isn't that gorge? Um, someone came to the door, Susan. What are they like? You don't mind if it was a delivery. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm like in my deliveries. <laughs> I got a story for you. So we ordered Jaden a new bed because he's a big lad now and he needed a, uh, we've got him a small double because he's a big lad now. He's the same size as me. Well, height wise, he's a skinny little rake, but height wise he's the same size as me. Ordered this bed, had a notification that it was going to be delivered between 9.20 p.m. and 11.20 p.m. So, I'm normally in bed by 10. So, stayed up, didn't arrive. Didn't even arrive. So, then stayed up till about 20 past midnight on the off chance it might arrive. And I didn't want to, you know, have this truck pull in and it disturb the neighbourhood. Well, it didn't arrive. So, then yesterday, it did arrive. And the man said, oh yeah, really sorry that I didn't come yesterday, I just ran out of time. I went, okay. Uh, Abby, have you got a pattern video for your headband? Not this headband, but I have got a, 
pat I have did do a live on a different headband. These ones have got a headband inside um, and I haven't made them and I wish I had made them because I do get a lot of comments about the headbands. But I did do one about with a different headband. Right, so um, you've got your pieces and they're just like this now. Okay, so what you're gonna do is fold it back round to the front. So now you've got that right side down. I'm just gonna use something to poke out that corner. Go steady if you're using scissors, you know, you know, okay. And then what you've got is you've got that on the reverse. So it's like a bit of, it's like a cape, I suppose, isn't it? And then you've got that on the front. So you're just gonna do that with all of them. Just turn them round. Don't worry about anything else just yet. Just turn them all around the right way. You will need your iron on. Turn them round. Um, Diane, you've made a few headbands now and even made some snazzy face masks. Yeah. I just, you know, I just think a headband just gives it a bit of something to your outfit, doesn't it? I'm a bit obsessed with it now. Right, so I've poked all these through. Sorry, licked my fingers again. <laughs> poked all those through. Right, I'll bring in my pressing mat. I'm trying to keep an eye on the comments at the same time. Um, oh, brilliant, Hayley, that's fantastic. I wish I had time to make stuff for the NHS. I just, so, you know, just time just runs out doesn't it right so using your ironing board your pressing mat whatever you've got um if you remember when we did this one i mentioned about folding in half and pressing or getting some sort of seam now the reason why you're doing that is because you're going to take it like this this is the back and you're going to press that down now if you've got a line down the center you can line up this line with this center line which means everything's going to be perfect so if I just do that one, thank you, Angela. That's very kind of you. Um, like that, that's probably a little bit dodgy. Okay, yes, that's a bit better. Like that. So then we're gonna repeat that with the others. So I'm just sort of guesstimating the middle of these ones because I didn't fold, didn't heed my own advice. Our local pick your own strawberry fields open from today. Oh, I just love going there so much. So I think that's gonna be, although I did get horrendously sunburnt yesterday, half an hour I was outside for, half an hour, and I got horrendously sunburnt. So maybe that's one for a couple of weeks time. Okay, pressing those. Oops. Yeah, all sorts going on outside today. What a beautiful day. I hope it's lovely where you are. It's lovely here. Right, so we're gonna lay these out in color order. So we go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Now this, this, the one I'm using yellow is more like a cream. Can you see? It's more like a cream. But I think that when it's laid out like this, I think it really works. So I'm really pleased I went for that one. So we're gonna take the orange over to the red, right sides together. There's a lovely pair of kids that have been playing out in the street the last few days and it's just been so lovely to see and hear people playing out. It's just, I don't know. Uh, so right sides together and you're going to stitch quarter an inch all down that side, okay? So this is orange to red. And we've got a chap who's got um, it must be an army dog. And 
and he comes onto the park with the, the, with the dog and the, the crazy things that this dog can do, it's insane. Like he jumps up onto the picnic table and stands to attention and he jump, goes round things and he, he's got like a big frisbee and the guy throws this fr frisbee in the air and this dog must jump eight foot. It's just incredible to watch. Anyway, I digress. It's only because I can see those two children. Okay, so if you want to do um, a back stitch before you start or a you know stop start stitch, then do. I'm just doing it because I'm conscious of time. So those two now are joined together. Lovely. Now you can join these in twos or you can just join as you go. I'm going to do them in twos. So that's why I like to lay them out. So I'm just putting one over the other. Um, colours are lovely. Yeah, they're lovely. They are lovely, aren't they? They do make you feel a bit happy. I'm just going to back stitch this one. I've started a little bit further down than I would have liked. Okay. So it's that one. Trim that off. I haven't exactly lined that one up very well at the bottom, but I can trim that after. These two. Again, I'll do a back stitch with this one. Doing a bit wonky there. some baby strawberries growing on my strawberry plants you know those troughs that I made baby strawberries are growing very excited about that um, so that's those two so now just the two the three sets join those together one I will have to just now of course where this doesn't quite join up properly here my error um, if you're going to put something a center piece to this you could do a Sun uh, you could do a cloud uh, whatever you like over the top you would cover that so you wouldn't necessarily need to trim it but I'm going to actually fold over and I'm not going to um, put something in the center but you can Right, so a cloud would be particularly lovely. A sun would be equally lovely. Oh, now it's making me want to do that. Right, so I've got two halves now and I'm just going to give this one a press and get rid of my threads before I attach it to the other one because I've done that to that one so once that's together then we've got to you know we're starting on an even keel um, right, your little Lynn is going for her first test on scenting it's online and I'm so nervous scenting talk to me about that tell me more Susan tell me more Right, so I've got my two halves and I'm going to join the purple of the first one to the red of the second one. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Now, before I do that, I'll show you what Karen did. Um, Karen then used a smaller Dresden. So if you imagine that was smaller. Um, what she's done is she's then placed the other one over the top. And obviously they fitted in beautifully here. Um, that doesn't quite you can't quite see with the same colors but you get the gist and it looks absolutely gorgeous so join these ones together oh, I haven't pressed it I press from the back and I press if I look at this one that's my starting one and this is my second one I pressed all of this over to my right so I'm gonna press all of this over to the right so it's just lays all nice and flat 
If you want to open your seams, you could. Um, I just, I never, I never open my seams really, apart from oh, when I'm joining binding. That's really the only time I ever open my seams. But you do get quite a lot of bulk on that join, so, you know, I can see the argument for, for, for opening your seams there completely. Personal preference, do what you like. Do what you like. Do what works for you. Oh, bless them. Oh, he's on my drive. <laughs> He's actually cycling, cycling around my driveway now. Oh, there's two little lads. You don't mind when there's little fellas on your driveway, do you? But we had a group of teenagers that kept using the drive as a turning area when they're on their big bikes and, you know, did have to go out and say to them, excuse me, can you not come on the drive, please? Oh yeah, he's going right up to the window now. Probably you don't want them next to your car, do you? Right, join those together. He's going to see me in a second and he'll be terrified. <laughs> he'll be like, oh! Right, so there's that one done. So I'll just press that seam as well. So then we've got this. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. So if you get a different colour, We'll just, I'll just use a, a plain colour that I've got, which is to hand, which is this pink. I'll lay it out so you can see. Just mind my iron. I'll just cut a piece out. Let me get my scissors. He's going to get a fright in a minute, isn't he? So what I would do is I'm going to put this on a, a, a pillow. So I've got an 18, yeah, 18 inch uh, pillow down here. Uh, so I'm going to make it to that. Now what I would do is just bear with me a second. Just had to close the door. Uh, that's my son telling them to get off the drive, not me. Uh, Right, so what you would then do is fold over the two ends because um, you're going to hand stitch this down. Mum will service it. So that's what I'm going to do now. So these two side pieces, these two end pieces, I'm just going to fold over a quarter of an inch and I'm going to press that down. Okay. I'm going to hold it there for a bit, excuse me, because I do want to make sure that's a good line. Yep, looks okay to me. Same on the other side. Like that. Sorry, I was concentrating so much I stopped talking. So that's that one there. Now, of course, if you're going to do a plique over the centre, centre, 
then you could just leave that raw edge completely like that and then you could do a plique over the top now i am actually going to do that i've decided i'm going to do um either a sun or a cloud haven't decided yet but i'll use bond web for that um and i'll just cut out something freehand but what you'll do is if you're doing a cushion My son is getting very cross at them for being on the drive. <laughs> to be fair, they shouldn't be on our driveway, should they? Especially not near the cars. Okay, so what you do is you place that down where you want it on your cushion. And you're going to hand stitch that down. So you're just simply going to go in where the fold is of the points and around the edge. And you're going to hand stitch that down. You could, of course, um, use fabric glues if you want to. Um, that's entirely up to you. But I'm going to hand stitch mine down. And then if I put a couple of pins in, and I know where my pins are. I'll just pop a couple of pins in and then I can hold it up and you can see. I'm not going to back this on this pink. I'm just using it so you can see it as an example. These two little lambs have just said, should we keep going on there to annoy him? They're just trying to wind him up now. Right, so that's what you've ended up with, okay? So I do like the fact that it's not... Um, flat I like that it comes slightly more round so if I can bring it to you that's what it's like it's lovely isn't it aren't kids just a dream aren't they just aren't they just um, yeah so that's as far as I'm gonna go with it today because I'm going to find a nice backing not sure which what color I'm gonna use um, to be fair, this will probably go in my spare room for when my in-laws come, when they're allowed to come down. So I might go with... I don't know, is the answer. I'm not sure. Maybe a Cadbury purple. You know what I'm like? I do like my purple. We'll see. Uh, but yeah so that is basically how you do that if you want to make one any smaller of course you would you could use the same pattern piece and once you've done you cut out one size you could trim this down and then you would be making Dresden's different sizes ah oh, right okie dokie if I know if I, as soon as I go out there I know what's going to happen as soon as I go out there they're going to um but yeah, we had some children coming because when my husband's home, because, you know, he's a key worker, so he goes out to work. When he's home and the drive's like this, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but when we first moved in, a lot of people thought that they could walk past our house. So we had people walking up the drive, realising that the corner was actually our front garden and then turning around. Now, in my head, I see someone's driveway. I don't think to myself, oh, I must be able to walk through there. If I saw someone drive, I'd think, oh, that's their driveway. But they don't. So we had our cars scratched because people were walking through our cars on our driveway that ended up in our front garden. There's no access to anything. We are the end of a row. We're the end. You can't get anywhere um, unless you want to see my planting area. That's it. Um, right. Oh, see, Susan, brilliant. Yeah, I do love this pink. It's like a dusky, deep pink, isn't it? Um, so what have we got to say? Really pretty in the glitter fabric. Yeah, it looks, does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna go out there. Be like, ah! <laughs> you cycled off. Anyway, rightio, that's the end for today. It's been a bit of a quick one today, but um, you've got that technique, you know what to do. Um, I'm going to, I really do want to do another layer. Whether or not I'll have time, I don't know, um, but there we are. Right, I'm going to log off now and I will see you on the next one.